Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with a Beautylish haul right here. And yeah, um, <laughs> I'm going to try to get to it. But I really wanted to show you guys the little paper that it came with. It's like a Beautylish Pharmacy by Bioderma um, paper. And I think that that was so cool. I love the way that Beautylish wraps their products. You guys have probably heard me rant and rave every time I have a Beautylish haul. I absolutely love them. First thing is, it was in this bag and it is Beautylish Pharmacy. And it says Bioderma, so you guys can just imagine what I bought. So I ended up picking up, you guys have to know this by now, I love micellar waters. So I ended up picking up the micellar water with the um, little sampler that comes with it. And they sold out of their Pro product that came with two of these and a 250 ml bottle. But if for the same price, I picked up two of the 500 ml bottles and got the 100 ml bottle for free. So I did get quite a bit of that. So yeah, Bioderma, I absolutely love it. I've used this one already and I love, love, love this stuff. It's not meant for like waterproof makeup so much so. It is good for removing stuff from the face. If you wanna use something separate from your eye, that's fine. I actually use this for all. It removes my Inglot eyeliner beautifully. I love, love, love it. Um, I love all my micellar waters though for the most part, so. So the first thing I picked up was from Too Faced and I picked up the Cocoa Powder Foundation and this has antiox it's antioxidant rich matte rose petal finish. I have it on my face today on top of the NARS new foundation, the NARS foundation. Um, and I just put this a little bit on top and I feel like it just gave me the full coverage that I wanted. It, you still see skin under here. I don't know if you see it there, but I did add this on top and I love this. I must say I like this. This is, look at the packaging, is in black and gold? I'm gonna open it and try not to. So when you first open it up, you see the sponge. It's a little pinky sponge. It's always good to keep around. And there's the powder right there, full size mirror. I got it in the shade medium. It covers me beautifully and it is perfect because I pretty much keep my same tone from winter to summer. I just get a little bit tanner, but the same tone is there like when it comes to makeup and foundation and stuff. I don't know how I've been using these really pale foundations for a couple years, but trial and error, you learn. So this is really, really good and it smells of chocolate and it's so love it and it's very very soft it just it oh, just goes on beautifully so i picked up a couple things from inglot the first thing i picked up was the amc gel eyeliner and this is in the shade 94 and as you can see there it's like a very shimmery i'll take a little dollop out i actually used it today on the inner corner of my eye and just extended the wing out from there that's all i did with this color and i love this this will be a good base that's the color right there. It is a perfect champagne gold, almost a rose gold if you, not really. This is just a perfect champagne gold. Absolutely love it. It's super pigmented. It does not go anywhere. I also put it on my waterline. I mixed it with some of the black to kind of get more of a gray tone. I like it. I really do. And this, I have my Inglot number 77. If you're looking for an eyeliner, and your price range is no more than like 15 bucks. I think these are like 13 bucks or 11 bucks, 12 bucks. Between 11 and 13 bucks, love this. This is the shade 94, absolutely gorgeous. So the next thing I picked up was an AM, uh, Inglot Pure Pigment Eyeshadow, and I picked up the shade 51. And I was just going by the website. I just really, really wanted to try out some of their pigments. And this one, like I said, it's the color 51. Let me... Now these open up, they have only a little tiny bit of a label and these are like messy looking. This I absolutely love, I'm gonna tell you this right now. That's it right there, looks very similar to the eyeliner. It is like this perfect gold. It could be a rose gold, it could just be a gold. I'm trying to get a good angle with it. That's it right there, how gorgeous is that? Oh my God, on top of the lid. Woo! So I bought one more pigment and this is an, oh, that was the pigment 51 and this is the pigment 35. This one, I feel like I might need to use, definitely need to use Fix Plus for this, but this is like a goldish bluish gray. It's so weird. It's a really pretty color. 
that's it right there. You can kind of see it's like a purpley bluish. I don't know. This is very glittery compared to uh, 51. This is extremely glittery. You would need like some sort of setting spray or something to pack this on the lid, but it is just as beautiful. It kind of leaves like a golden green tone to it. I think this is just beautiful. It would be a great inner corner eye color or for an all over the lid. It does have like a green tinge to it and then you see it's like blue purple with gold and greens. I don't know, it's just strange, but I love it. It's beautiful and I don't regret getting it. <laughs> it's just really glittery and I wish it was more of a, kind of like a shimmer like the one that I applied. So the next thing I picked up was another Embrolise La Creme Concentrates. I, I don't know why I bought the small size. This is the one ounce size, look at baby. I have the 2.5 seven eight like almost a three ounce size but i figured i'll just buy a small one i'm still like halfway through my original bottle that i got from april and i use it every day i just use a little bit and i moisturize i use it as a primer because i don't wear a lot of primers unless i'm testing some out um, but in between testing out primers that's what i use for primer you can also use it to remove makeup so i always recommend the umberlease the Emberlease Lot Cream Concentrates. You guys have seen it in my tutorials. Love this stuff. <laughs> so finally from Beautylish, I picked up my first OCC lip tar. Is it my first OCC lip tar? Yeah, this is my first. This is my first OCC lip tar. Um, and I picked up this shade. I'll tell you right now because I forgot. And I love that it comes with a brush. I was looking for... What was... What was the name of it? I don't remember. Um, but they were out of stock. This is Memento. You guys see a theme with the colors here? And I know that this is going to last me a very, very long time. But I'm just going to go ahead and put a dot. And if you guys know about OCC Lip Tars, you know that they go a long way. This is a color that isn't... This is going to last me too long. Even I will get tired of it. So there's the little dollop that I put on there. And this is a matte color, and that's Memento. It is just a pretty pink. It's a pretty neutral pink, but it's still vibrant. And I figured I could definitely wear this with a darker lip liner or a light pink lip liner, and it would just suit me just fine. This is a pink that I can do. Um, I did want some other colors, but they were out of stock, so whatever. Um, but I would probably start collecting these because I feel like I, I could put these bad boys to use. Very much so. That and I'm a lippy addict, so let's be real here. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for my Beautylish haul, guys. I hope you liked this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.